Chapter 2 The Early Years uh, My earliest memories are of Tampa, Florida. I was in the first grade. Uh, some of the things I remember was um, I had to take summer school in the first grade and we <laughs> we would have snack, watch Reading the Rainbow, take a nap, and then I would be dropped off at the end of my road on a bus and my father would come pick me up on um, his bicycle and I would ride home on the handlebars. And that was so much fun. Um, being in Florida, it was hot, really hot. Um, what I remember is that I was attacked by my, I had my first encounter with the German Shepherd. That scared the living crap out of me. I was playing out back. We had a fence that was bowed in um, towards the end of the fence. And the neighbor let the dog out. And I was trying to climb the fence because the fence teed with another fence. Um, really big fence. And behind that fence was um, Kmart. So I just wanted to see over it. Like going to Kmart was really easy for my house. We'd just go through the little hole in the fence and boom, Kmart. <laughs> um, so I was trying to do that. And the, she let the dog go. And he had come over the fence and had grabbed my leg and just he mauled it. He didn't break skin, but... I still have indentations. Um, I have indentations in my bone on my leg on that side. Like, it was the most scariest thing um, at the time that I've ever gone through. Uh, we had a dog named Sergeant. He was running from one end of the house to the other end of the house. Uh, trying to break out the back window. Because he can see I was in danger. Uh, I got the dog off me. It took a couple of days before I was able to uh, get enough courage to walk because it just, it hurt. After this, it was maybe a week later and the dog had gotten out and bit my father. Uh, his canine had actually punctured it, my father's skin and pulled out some of his muscle. Uh, I didn't see it. Thank God, <laughs> I was a child. Um, other things I remember about Tampa, Florida is my mom worked at Burger King. My dad would go pick her up. I would walk to go pick her up. He'd walk the dog and pick her up. I remember uh, tax time and being told we could buy anything in the store. One of anything in the store. And me and my sister got these arm guns. Uh, it was a, a metal arm that fit over your hand, and at the end of it, it had a <laughs> had a pistol, and it made all sorts of noises. I started my GI Joe collection in Tampa, Florida. I had a bunch of them. I had a bucket. Me and um, our parents' friend that usually babysit us would take them apart and switch body parts. I remember going over to another friend's house and playing board games and playing outside. This is when I had built a dirt track for my um, cars. And then we ended up moving back to New York. The New York school system had told them that Florida school system was slower. And then I had to repeat the first grade. This was one of... This was the first setback of my life. I had to repeat the first grade. The only thing I remember about this is being bullied. Um, I paid 50 cents for lunch. I was on like reduced lunch and I paid 50 cents for it. I remember being bullied and my money being taken from me and hiding in the bush before the bell rang for school. Um, the places that I have lived, I've lived in many. In New York, I have lived all over Corning. Um, I've been to almost every elementary school in Corning. It's moving around a lot. I didn't. I had friends. I. I I still do this to this day. I have a group of close friends, and that'll be it. I didn't really like socialize outside that group. And fear of 
of always moving in fear of, okay, today is the day. Um, one of the moving things was from a house in New York on uh, Sly Avenue. And then my dad's like, all right, oh, black ship, <laughs> black garbage bag, and we're moving. And we moved to Virginia. Virginia, personally, is my favorite state when I was young. I don't remember being bored. Um, I started rummage sailing in Virginia. started my big old uh, action figure collection in Virginia. I went through... We didn't move. We moved some, but I didn't change a lot of schools. Virginia was really fun. Uh, we lived in... On a road called Rochambeau. I always thought that was funny. I had two really good friends. Uh, one of them, we all three of us talked about Power Rangers like crazy. Uh, though when it was advertised for the wedding, the Power Ranger wedding, we all three of us thought it was going to be uh, Tommy the White Ranger and Kimberly the Pink Ranger. It was Lord Zed and Rita. But we would talk about silly stuff like that uh my friend had all of the video game systems sega and super nintendo um i asked my <laughs> father one day um why he why they would always get nicer things than us from santa and this is where i learned <laughs> the truth um, my dad had the most awesome answer i've ever heard he said that their Santa made more money than your Santa. It was the coolest thing I've ever heard as a child. Like, I wasn't distraught about it. I laughed. It was, it was perfect. I had an incident where <laughs> I had my slingshot taken away because I was pelting my sister with... Um, With a uh, brain fart. Anyways, I was pelting my sister with candy. Jelly beans. Pelting my sister with jelly beans. Wow, that was a brain fart. I'm going to have to edit that when I make write this book. <laughs> Um, pelting over jelly beans, so I got that taken away from me. Um, one of the that brings up another funny memory. Uh, not really scary at the time. Um, in New York, I had gotten one of the airsoft guns, but one of the cheap ones. Like, didn't got it at like got it at a gas station, like convenience store type little thing. And my sister was like, "I bet you can't shoot me while I'm spinning around." And Sure enough, I got it stuck in her ear. That was horrific because the doctor trying to get it out had to suck suck it out. Um, they did it did damage to her ear. She had to have tubes. Like that was very scary. But it was all because two little kids wanted to see if they can hit a moving object. Children don't think. <laughs> Any, back to Virginia. Uh, one of the other things I remember is 6th grade taking a field trip to Washington, D.C. Looking at all the museums. That was a fun day. Going to Vir Virginia Beach. That was fun. I love the beach. Something about the um, smell of seawater. It just, it's calming. The water is always freezing cold. Then, um, let's see. So, when we we moved back to New York from Virginia, um, this would be the last time we moved out of state into another state as a child. My parents decided that they needed to make a stand, and they made a stand in New York and. It was the best decision for all of us. We moved back. We lived with my 
aunt and uncle until we got our own apartment. Living with them was a little cramped, but it worked. I was in the band. I realized quickly that I wasn't into instruments or carrying a big old uh, tuba around. I had to pick a big instrument for some reason. Then we got our own place. Um, I had met up with my childhood friend again. I had gotten in some shenanigans with him. Some stuff I shouldn't have done. Uh, I set... We got bored and set barrels on the train railroad tracks to watch the train kick it. And it did. It kicked it all the way across the bridge. And then the cops showed up at my house. Uh, that was my first brush with the law. Um, I laugh now because it's all life lesson. Like, I shouldn't have known better, but I didn't. And I learned from it. Kind of. <laughs> I learned that you got to try harder not to get caught. Um, from there, we moved into a townhouse, and I got the basement. Oh, I love having the basement. Um, which brings up another part from Virginia. We lived in a townhouse in Virginia. My father was a maintenance man. He's the best maintenance man I know. Like, we got in everywhere because he would be the maintenance man. And the way they do things, most people do things, is... Free rent if you are the maintenance man. So we lived in this townhouse. It was beautiful. It had two floors. Floor, first floor had a living room, uh, bathroom, kitchen, dining room, and a sitting room. Uh, the sitting room is where I used to do my spelling for my spelling test every week. It had a laundry room out, laundry like shed outside had a little yard but it was it was just cute upstairs um had three four bedrooms four bedrooms and a bath um, i remember this ho I remember this apartment complex because we were the only white family in this apartment complex it was in newport news virginia i went to a middle school that was brand new called gildersleeve it was Beautiful. Like every Friday we had like takeout pizza for lunch. This thing was the school was beautiful. Um I had my first crush at this school. I remember because we had to do laps for the mile and then give us four sticks or we'd get a a stick uh, every time we did a lap. And I remember catching up to her and handing her a note and then um she said yes after <laughs> after the mile was over with some of the other fun things i remember in that house were um having pillow fights we had my baby sister alex she was a baby at the time she had her own room but she was still sleeping with my my mom uh, my parents and we would take her room and just have pillow fights and stuffed animal fights it was awesome this is also um, when I got back on the kick of horror movies, uh, I watched them when I was little. In the first grade, we went to go see Ghost Dad at the drive-in and also feature Child's Play. I know, that's a really cool double feature. Ghost Dad, Child's Play. <laughs> I watched Child's Play for the first time. I remember it. I also remember it because my uncle, my uncle Timmy, had got me a My Buddy doll after watching that and god that thing scared me um i'd gotten one and my sister got the female version uh, the dog ate the female version's face off <laughs> but i was terrified of that of that um there's also stories of me watching all these horror movies when they came out when i was little my dad's greatest story he likes to tell is he is playing cards at the table with my Catholic grandparents. And when I mean Catholic, I mean Catholic. My uh, mom's parents. And I'm watching um, Friday the 13th. And I come out uh, in my walker. And I'm, I'm screaming. And daddy, daddy, 
that <laughs> Jason just killed that um Jason just killed that fucking girl and my grandparents about lost it. My father about peed his pants. So I've been a big whore buff my whole entire life. Um I love horror movies. Horror movies are fantastic. I still love them to that to this day. Back then, they would scare the crap out of me, and over time, they scared me less. I try to embrace the horror because it um, triggers your adrenaline, which is a rush, and, which is also much safer than skydiving or bungee jumping or any of these other things. I'm terrified of heights. <laughs> so horror movies are, are my outlet, and it's fantastic because my older son, um, him and I, that's what we share in common. We are going to go see it, chapter two, when that comes out. Fantastic. Um, this also at this point in time, I was going through, um, in Virginia, I was going through puberty. I had found out or seen the Playboy Channel for the first time, seen boobs naked boobs for the first time and it scared the ever-loving crap out of me i don't know why i was so terrified of them um this also brings a story that most people do not know at the age of 12 i was messing around with a 16 year old uh, we had moved in with my parents friends um we had it wasn't with them. We lived out back of them. But it was close enough to them that we hung out a lot. They had a 16-year-old daughter. I'm going through puberty. And we had messed around a lot. Um, she was the first real kiss. The first real, <laughs> real nakedness that I, that I seen in, up close in person. Um... And it was all new, and it was all exciting and weird. I didn't know. I didn't know what to do. Like I was so confused and lost. So it was, it was good and <laughs> bad at the same time. Um, no, I did not lose my virginity. I did not lose that until eighteen. It was almost nineteen. Then, um, after all that, we had moved back to New York everything calmed down for me I was starting to get a grip on things um, again porn is wasn't as easy as it is now to get a hold of it makes me scared to let my children on the internet however <laughs> I uh, somehow did happen to get my hands on it um, let's see some other things that ah when I moved back I also was the got bigger I shot up to six feet I wasn't bigger muscle or wise but I was just taller than everybody else I scrapped a lot um my best friend he was a angry person uh, we always fought this little redheaded kid because he always ran his mouth. Um, met my, I met, I fought Brett Wheaton, and then we eventually became really good friends after that. Even he dated my sister. I also noticed that that my uh, middle school going into high school that my sister got bigger, and my friends were paying attention to her. <laughs> that also frustrated me. I have one friend to this day. Was like, no, yes, your sister was cute, but no, I wasn't gonna date her. We knew we were good friends. Um, so everything ha had changed from uh, awkward puberty to more of being a little turd, and it was all because of the influences that I had around me. Um, I started not doing homework. I started to fail, and it was all because I just rather hang around with my friends than, um, than to do anything. 
and I will eventually come to realize that that wasn't good for me and I started to change that. And this is the end of chapter 2.